So in order to start your first uh, case, um, you're gonna come into your dental desktop software, which you should have an icon on your desktop for. Uh, the icon that I have says Trios, but it's the same software. Um, so what we'll start off by doing, um, once your software opens up, you'll come into your main cases area um, and you'll go ahead and select new. So now all you really need to do here um, is go ahead and set it up for Smile Design. Um, so the first thing you'll want to do is over on the left hand side of the screen, you'll select the Smile Design option. Um, since we don't design anything in the uh, dental desktop software, um, the only thing that we'll really need to do is then come over here to the right hand side where it says Comments and Attachments and select that option. And then it's going to ask us for clinical photos. So this will be the photo of the patient's face um, straight on smile. Um, you do need to make sure that there is enough of a smile to get some of the tissue in there. Um, that's important for aligning these to the models that you're going to design on. So we'll go ahead and hit the plus icon here. And then I'm going to navigate to my photo. Um, so this is the photo here. Um, and then from that point, um, you should be able to select next up here. Um, so we'll go ahead and select that. Oh, sorry about that. Let me go ahead and so let me backtrack a little bit. Uh, I apologize for that. Um, so you'll go ahead and um, let's get out of here. So this will be your main screen here. Um, in order to create a new case up here at the top left, you'll select the new option. Then you'll come down here to the left hand side where it says smile design and select that option. Then over here on the right hand side, you're going to select comments and attachments. Then you'll select the plus symbol here where it says clinical photos. And then you're gonna navigate to where you've got those images um, saved. And we'll just go ahead and select the image I've got here and hit open. So you'll see an image of that pop up underneath clinical photos. And then we'll go ahead and select next to continue forward. So now the first thing it's going to want is um, some landmarks um, so that it can get the tilt of the image correct because you know everyone doesn't always smile directly um, and, and align their head correctly to the camera. Um, so the first thing we need to do is make sure that the image is um, on the right plane so that it's straight um, so that we can accurately design it. So we're actually going to follow exactly what it says over here on the left hand side. So we're going to do points in rotation. It's going to want uh, points on both pupils, both nasal wings and both commissures. So we'll start with the pupils. We'll start, then we'll go to the nasal wings. And then lastly, the commissures. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and set this circle or these, um, these points here to the edges right below where the lips end and the um, tissue starts. And all you have to do to do this is to left click and hold on these small dots that are around the circle and pull those into the areas where you want that to cut away. Um, basically what this will do is it's going to cut away the area inside that circle um, so that we can design in the middle there. So once we have that positioned, we'll go ahead and hit next. And now these are templates for um, where your design is gonna be. So this is what you want your ideal design to be. Um, so you've got quite a few different areas where you can uh, move things around. Um, you can actually grab the multi-arrow here and move the entire image around. 
then you can take um, the arrows and these will resize the image in certain directions. Um, the points at the end of each line will change the smile arc um, and reposition and size each tooth inside that arch. Now, if there's certain teeth that you don't want in the arch that we're, you said we're not going to design, um, you can simply select it. It will highlight blue, and then you can either hit the delete key on the keyboard or you can select it and hit the delete option over here on the left hand side. If for whatever reason you decide that you want to design everything that it's got or you've you want to change back to the original um, option here where it says reset smile design, you can hit that button and it resets it to the way it came in here. Also, if you want to change the shape of the templates, you can just simply um, open up this drop down menu and select different shaped teeth. So we'll go ahead and position this um, into the proper arch form for this patient. Um, we'll just go ahead and do uh, the front six teeth. Now, if you don't want to change the entire um, group of teeth as one unit, um, you can actually select one and then you can resize. Now, if you have symmetrical um, design checked on the left-hand side, it's going to move both centrals. If you just want to resize one, then deselect that and then whichever one you're working on will um, change to the size that you need. Now let's say you want to reshape each one. Um, what you can also do is up here on the left hand side, um, the next icon over is freeform. So what you can do um, is you can actually come in here and um, you can see the little um, where I'm hovering over number nine there or number 10, um, how it's changing the arc. So if you left click that, it's going to move that into that position where um, the new arc is. Um, so that's one way to uh, reform the teeth a little bit and reshape them how you need. So once you've got your um, two shapes and sizes where you want them. Um, you can see on the uh, bottom here, we've got a uh, percentage size. This is how you know um, the um, if your teeth are in proportion or not, um, especially the centrals. Um, so we'll wanna make sure that all of our centrals uh, or both of our centrals are the same size. Um, so we'll go ahead and make sure that we're you know within the the tolerance is there. Um, you can also come up here to the top left um, where it says mirror tooth. Um, so it kind of works the same way as dental system. So if you want to mirror an object um, in the templates, you can um, simply by selecting the one you want to mirror over and it will mirror it to the other side um, just like that. Um, so once we've gotten our um, objects set to where we need them. We'll go ahead and hit next. Now this is going to allow us to shade the teeth the way that the rest of the teeth are shaded um, because this does allow for a color image um, of a kind of a proposal design here. Um, so you can slide these different shader bars around um, and actually get a pretty decent um, shade match here. 
Now this is only for design purposes, so if you're if you don't want to do this, you don't have to. Um, but it is here. Um, Um, so you've got a few options here. Um, your highlights, you can adjust those to be uh, pretty extreme or a little bit more minimal um, or not at all. And then you can also change the shadow from the lip area as well. Um, so once we go through that, then we can actually come in here and edit the photo. Um, so what we can do is we can actually uh, change where the gingival line and the tooth lines are. Um, simply by left clicking and holding um, and dragging around those areas, uh, we can change what shade of tissue we've got there. So if we want more tissue shade, um, as you can see, I'm moving to the left and then I've, I've actually removed the, um, the area of exposed tooth um, that I didn't cover with the templates. Just like that. Um, so now we don't have any exposed um, tooth form below our templates. Um, so now we can go ahead and select next. And now this is what you've seen from a lot of the videos where they've got the slider bar here. Um, so you can slide it one way and remove the teeth, uh, the design and slide it the other way and get the original photo. Um, so you can kind of compare uh, between what the patient had and, and what they've got uh, based off of your smile design here. Now, in order to export the photo for dental system, um, all you simply do is export the photo here, give the photo a name, and select an area that you want to save it. So I'll go ahead and save mine to the desktop. So now we'll go ahead and select next now that we've uh, exported out our photo. And now we are done with the dental desktop portion of this. So now we'll go into uh, dental system um, and we will find our case. So I went ahead and created a case. Um, it doesn't matter how you set up the case um, because the smile design will work for any kind of design. So. Um, this case is set up for virtual temporaries um, from numbers 6 through 11. Um, you can set it up for, like I said, any kind of design that you want. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here to the order form on this case. And I'm going to um, go ahead and add my photos. So in order to add photos, um, you have this clinical photos option here on the left-hand side with the plus box across from it. So you'll select that. And then you'll go down here to the area where it says file path and click to select the image. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And now we're gonna navigate to where our images are. So I've got um, five images that it outputted for me. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring all these in. Um, so we've got a uh, close-up smile here, so we'll open that one and select OK. You'll see that it'll drop down in here to this clinical photos area. To simply add more, we'll just go ahead and continue to do this um, and select each image. And now once each image is uploaded, we'll go ahead and select OK here. 
and now we'll go into our case and design it. So from here, it's pretty much the normal uh, workflow. So we'll just go ahead and hit next. So we've already done uh, the setup for all this. So we're just going to go ahead and get into the design area. So now once in the design area, um, the easiest way to um, align these cases um, to the photos is to come over here to the real view engine on your right hand side. Um, so we'll select that. Um, and the first image pops up here. Um, so we'll just kind of go through the workflow at the top middle of the box. So we'll go ahead and select um, on the uh, pupils here to give it a We're having some technical difficulties with this image.
I apologize for the inconvenience. Um, I'm not sure what happened with the uh, design here. So I'll just go ahead and start a new case. Um, seems to be something wrong with that case. go ahead and reattach our photos real fast here um, and then we should be good to go on this case So now, like I said, um, most of the case is going to be pretty straightforward if you've already done a case like this. Um, we're just going to go kind of through the normal um, design steps here um, and go ahead and um, get into the actual dental designer. So I'll try and work through this as fast as I can. Um, I'm sure most of you have seen this workflow. Um, this is the virtual temporary PONIC workflow. Um, a lot of times it's used for the um, diagnostic wax up stage. Um, so let's just kind of run through here. Next. Um, in this workflow, you um, segment out the teeth um, and remove those to create ponic sites. Um, And then you'll get in here to the design area. Um, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and select on my real view option here. Now it's going to give me my very first um, image here. Um, so what we'll go ahead and do is select the pupils. And that should give us a good um, plane to follow there. So then we'll select cut out. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to come down in here to the mouth and we're going to go ahead and cut out um, everything inside the lip lines. Okay. 
once you connect with the first point that you created, you can actually come in here and freeform draw um, if you want to adjust any of these areas. You can also single click and that will slightly adjust the areas as well. Then you'll go ahead and select alignment up at the top middle here. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and select points um, to align these images to. Um, so it's four points, um, which is a little bit different from most of what you're used to in a dental system. So now what we should see is a pretty good representation of where our um, models um, should be aligned to. So this is slightly off, so we'll go ahead and make a few adjustments here. And then you'll see as we make these adjustments, the image kind of uh, moves around a little bit on us. Um, that's okay. We're trying to get it a little bit closer to where it should be. And as long as you've got a decent quality image, um, these should align pretty well. Um, it's really just about picking the proper points for the alignments. And getting these as close as possible. So that's fairly close. Um, we'll go ahead and go with that. Um, and then this last option here, this is rendering. So what this does is it allows me to select an area on an existing tooth. Um, and that's what it's actually going to use for the shade of these um, temps here in the middle um, on the actual design. So um, once we have everything completed with this box, we can just simply close it out. And now we can reopen it, and it will open to a, um, we have to select the next image here, and then select the real view option. So now we have to set up each image um, that we've imported in. Um, so we'll go ahead and do it again here. Anytime you misclick, you can simply left click and drag each dot um, into the proper position. And we'll go back into trim here. And it's pretty much all just kind of repeat the same process um, that you did on the first image. And when you're doing these dots, you always kind of want to stagger things. Um, if you don't and you stack everything on, a, on the same plane, you can have issues where it doesn't quite um, align properly. Um, you can also hold shift to make this shade area a little larger um, so that it'll get more of that tooth shade in there. 
And once you're completed there, you'll just simply close out and move on to the next one. Um, when you don't have pupil marks on an image like this, um, you can just put those in the corners of the, the mouth um, and that does the same effect. now you can simply come in here and go ahead and start your design. Um, so you can actually go ahead and grab different tooth libraries um, and populate those into your design here. Um, and you'll just want to pick something obviously that looks pretty similar to the existing teeth uh, as far as shape and contour goes. And now it's just a, simply a matter of moving the uh, design into position.
And once you get everything positioned, you can turn your images back on and make fine tuning adjustments to everything um, as far as the shape and size of the teeth. Then from this point, you can turn on one of the larger scale images and go ahead and check and make sure that everything looks appropriate as far as um, your line angles, the position of the teeth, um, and everything with the image. Um, and the whole time you have the image here to uh, kind of go as a guideline from. And then one nice thing about this is you can actually take um, screenshots from within the three shape software um, using the camera icon here. It will save it into a folder inside the order form or inside the order folder and you'll be able to access those and send those to doctors through three shape communicate or by, via email. Um, also, um, you have the ability to change the um, color of the um, scans here by clicking on the um, And then once uh, once your images are um, or your design is completed here, um, you can go ahead and hit next, and then you just kind of go through this um, like normal. Um, you can turn the images on or off, um, and then finalize out the design.
and then go from there. Um, so let me go ahead and take a look at any uh, questions that you all might have. Um, so let's see. Um, yes, you can do a smile design off of a trios case. Um, that's actually what I just did. Um, that was a trios case there. Um, in the order form, um, you would set it up just like I did. Um, and then you would import the clinical photos in on a trios case. So it's, it's very similar to the normal workflow as far as design goes. Um, it's just that setup process to create the um, smile design uh, photo there first. Um, so let me go ahead and look at any other. Um, you don't have to remove the um, maxillary teeth on every photo. Um, you can just do it on the one that you want to use as just their, the smile um, for the internal. Um, you can actually turn on and off each different photo. So if you want to see, um, it, it saves a photo of the original. Um, it saves a photo of the templates. Um, it saves a photo with all of the indications on there as far as like the um, curve of speed, curve of Wilson, the golden proportions, um, and all of those icons. So you really just need to um, cut out the mouth on the original photo, which those are all labeled in there when you import those in. Uh, let's see, other questions. Um, You cannot transfer the smile design photo into production, but you can um, go ahead and use the design that you create off of that for production. Um, and you can actually do the same workflow with a immediate denture as well. Um, so that workflow would work um, where you would go ahead and set up the, the image just like I did. Um, and then you would take and bring those images into design um, the same way you still can import clinical photos in even on a model scan case um, and then what you would do is before you um, prep those teeth down um, you would go ahead and um, align everything um, and actually on the um, immediate option, I believe it gives you the ability to see the original teeth in the design area so that you can align all of that. Um, I have not tried that workflow yet, but I will um, look into it a little bit more and let you know. Um, if anyone has additional questions outside of that, um, you can always email me those questions at uh, b, as in boy, smith at whitmix.com and i'll be more than happy to answer any additional questions or if you have any questions right now i can go ahead and answer those as well so if no one has any additional questions um, we'll go ahead and wrap this up um, like i said okay go ahead it looks like i've got another question coming in Um, so my email again is B as in boy, smith at whitmix.com. Um, as far as designing on a photo only, um, if you just run it through the smile design and dental desktop, um, whatever you put um, or however you design those outlines, it fills those in and creates an image of teeth. So what you could do is export that 
image back out there and that would give you a design photo. Um, it wouldn't give you anything that you could manufacture, but you would have that image if you wanted to send that to a doctor. Does that answer your question? Okay. All right. Um, are there any other questions that I can um, answer for you? Or um, if not, we can go ahead and wrap this up. Um, and like I said, you can email in. You can also call our technical support number. Um, there are three of us there that can answer any questions about this module. Um, and that phone number is 800-626-5651. And our extension is 1437. Um, so if there's no further questions, um, I'll go ahead and wrap this up. And I look forward to speaking to all of you in the future.